Hello, everyone. I know it's been a while since I've made a movie recommendation for everyone, but I've got the time and the energy and the idea. So uh, here we go. So um, these recommendations are all action films. Um, I thought uh, you might need a little, uh, <laughs> a little, little time to truly escape and 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 watch some heroic, you know, crazy, crazy action stuff. So uh, without further ado, uh, let me show you what I have brought. Um, so there's a, a movie called The Raid. I think many of you have probably seen it and I'm only putting it here because maybe you have it and you really need to if you love action pictures. Um, who knew that what, what kind of martial arts films were missing were machetes? And uh, <laughs> I'll leave it at that, but this is, a, this is an amazing, amazing film. Uh, so definitely catch it. Uh, the next one, I, I feel I feel like I'm um, I'm teasing you a bit because uh, I'm, I'm going to recommend a film called Brotherhood of the Wolf. And the teasy part of it is everything I've recommended so far is either rentable or streamable. This sucker is hard to find, uh, but I hope you can. Um, it's 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 an incredible film that is just all over the place. It's set in France in the 1700s, but there's a Native American guy who knows martial arts and there's a werewolf on the loose kind of good Halloween theme kind of thing. Uh, it's French. There's a, an assassin prostitute sent by the Pope. This, this movie is just crazy, but somehow it all works. Uh, it's got a young Vincent Cassell um, and um, also Mark DeCascos. Uh, De uh, if you know his stuff, he plays the, the Native American in the film. So definitely catch Brotherhood of the Wolf if you can find it. My number one recommendation uh, for action films, I saw this a, a while back, it's called The Villainous, um, has an absolutely labyrinthian plot that, that um, you know, maybe isn't the most important thing if you can follow it more power to you, but uh, it kind of has a, um, a La Femme Nikita point of no return, young woman, you know, trained sort of against her will to be an assassin, that kind of thing movie opens with a first person perspective action scene for uh, uncut for like five minutes is really, really cool. Um, and you can see um, if you've seen like the John Wick franchise, how it, it was borrowing um, heavily from this film in terms of action set pieces and stuff. So definitely catch the villainous uh, this is a, a Korean movie. Anyway, uh, those are my three action film recommendations. Um, I think I should be back with, back uh, at you with some uh, horror uh, theme films for your for your spooky season for your Halloween uh, before too long. I'll, I'll see you then. Take care.